Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the command prompt to pull a big list of the file names and put it into a word or text format. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the command prompt. Here it is. And we're going to figure out what folder we want to pull things from. So this folder, if it's under the disk C, you can leave it as it is. But if you have another drive that you're trying to pull from, then all you need to do to change the directory is just put an F for F drive or, you know, D for D drive. But we're just going to stay on C. So, you know, we're already here, but you can do that. And today we're going to be going and picking just a random folder. So I want all the songs in here and I want all the names. But in order to get all the names, you know, it's going to be hard to just copy paste these individually. So what we're going to do is we'll take this directory. So you just copy and paste this address bar up here. And then we're going to type in CD, which stands for change directory. And we're going to paste that directory in there. So now, as you can see, this is the location that we're currently under. And if you type in DIR, then you get a list of all the files that are in this directory. And now we can take this and copy it and put it into this folder right here. But now, now we have a lot of information in here and we, we just wanted the names. So how do we just get the names? Well, you can type in dir slash b, which is stands for bear. It just gives us bear information about what we're looking for. So now we can copy paste this and put it into here. Or if you don't want to copy and paste it, we can put it directly into a folder. So now we can go file name.txt. And as you can see, there's already a folder in here called file name. So what's going to happen with this folder is this is going to overwrite it. So make sure that you don't have anything that you're trying to overwrite in there with the same file name. So we're just going to hit enter. And as you can see, we're going to go into this file and all the contents that were in here before are deleted. But now we have all the contents that we wanted to put in there. So I hope this video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.